what is going on, people. I apologize if you enjoy my intro and you didn't get one. It's because I'm doing this review right before I go to bed and I don't have about, you know, two hours or however long it takes to edit and everything. Uh, I'm trying to get to bed soon. So, this one you won't get an intro, but you'll get a good review. I guess pat myself on the back. But anyway, this movie, if you couldn't tell by the title, is called Minutes Past Midnight. This is a horror pack exclusive, so if you read it, it's a horror pack review. If you don't know what horror pack is, check my previous video. Not only do I unbox a horror pack, I unbox a shop factory. Anyway, get into that. But this one right here, Minutes Past Midnight, is an anthology movie. It's got a whole bunch of directors, there's nine different shorts, and a whole bunch of people that star in it. So, um, let me read off the people. Uh, the director and the writer are the same people, so they, I guess they wrote and directed their own shorts. Um, Robert Buchek did a Horrific. Uh, Lee Croton did Ghost Train. Francisco Sonic, Francisco, oh, I can't even say it. Francisco Sonic Kim did Awake. Uh, Ryan Lightborn did Road, uh, Roid Rage. Uh, Mark Martinez Jordan did Timothy. Kevin McTurk did uh, At Mill, uh, The Mill at Calder's End. James Moran did Crazy for You. Christian Rivers did Feeder. And uh, Sid uh, Zorlafim. Hopefully I said that right. I probably messed up a whole bunch of the names. Did uh, Never Tear Us Apart. So, pretty much like I said, there's nine different shorts starring a whole bunch of people. If I tried to list everyone, it go crazy. But this has to be one of, you know, the better anthologies I've seen in a long time. I mean, uh, Tales of Halloween is great. Uh, Trick or Treat is awesome. This one has a different spin. It doesn't have, like, uh, a set, like, holiday or anything. This one, each short is kind of different from each other, which is really cool. Uh, some hit more than others for me, but each one was really good, I must say. I, you know, didn't get bored with any of them. Uh, some just hit me a little bit more. Some of my favorites are definitely, uh, Roid Rage was very entertaining. That had an interesting spin on it. Kind of reminded me of the movie Teeth, if you know what that is. Let's just say it's a guy and it's on the other side. Um, that one was pretty cool. Uh, the Miller uh, Calder's N had a um, not kind of like Coraline deal, where it's uh, like animated, almost like robot chicken style, but with a horror twist. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Timothy is about a TV show that this kid watches, and it stars a like a tall rabbit, and let's just say it doesn't. It, it, not the nicest of rabbits, I guess you want to call it. I don't want to go into too much because each short is about, you know, 10 minutes long. So if I go into too much depth, you're going to know each one. But uh, uh, those probably those three were probably the most interesting. Feeder was pretty good, cool too where, uh, I don't want to get into it, let's just say, um, a ghost kind of draws what it wants to eat. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. But all of these, like I said... Definitely were very interesting, and each had its own vibe to it. Each had its own, like, style to it. None were, you know, exactly alike. Uh, there was a lot of practical effects in a lot of these, which I love, because, again, I'm more of a practical effect than uh, CGI. You know, it, it just it's just my preference, and a lot of them had that uh, practical effect to it. So I was definitely surprised and definitely... And the overall look of it, too, was very cool. I guess it was a bunch of shorts that they put together. Um, it says Little, Little Terrors uh, Presents. So I'm guessing this uh, Little Terrors has a whole bunch of different shorts because in the extras it has, like, I think 10 different shorts as well. Um, and it also has, uh, what do you call it, uh, filmmaker's commentary, which I'm eventually, when I get time, I'll listen to because I'm getting more into commentary tracks. But I must say, if you're into anthology movies, this is this one definitely surprised me, and that's why I'm doing a review for it now, because I definitely enjoy it. I'll leave the link to it, because this one right here is the uh, uh, Horror Pack exclusive, 
but it is on Amazon right now, but I think there's only like 10 left. So I'll leave the link to where you can purchase it on Amazon. It's on Blu-ray and DVD, and uh, I'll, I'll leave the link to where it is. At least on Prime, that's how much it is. I don't know if, uh, what it is without it. But I'll leave the link to that. If you're into anthology movies, like, like I said, Trick or Treat or Tales of Halloween, definitely, you know, VHS and stuff. This, these anthologies are, you know, creeping up on us very quickly, but I really do enjoy it. So definitely look out for uh, Minutes Past Midnight. Again, I'll leave all the links that I'm talking about, including the horror pack, where you can purchase it um, in the show notes. Well, not show notes, but in the uh, description box. So check that out. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Hopefully it kind of leaned you towards it. Uh, I'll leave the links to all my other social media stuff as well. My uh, I got a Twitter, I got a Facebook fan page, I got a Horror Mino, I got a uh, Instagram where I show off the movies that I have behind me. I'm part of the Dorkening, which I'll leave the links to. So definitely go ahead if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more reviews from me, some other stuff I'm trying to get, you know, brought back to the channel. So definitely go ahead, let other people know I'm out here. You know, if they're looking for new movies to watch, you know, Minutes Past Midnight is definitely one to check out, plus I have more. So, until next time, I'll see you.